After Weight Watchers didn't work, my parents sent me to a fat camp. Another poorly named place. It's somewhere where you send your kids to, for them to get thin. Should be called a thin camp. It's called a fat camp. A fat camp. It sounds like the wildest dreams of that kid in that African village. I dream someday to go to America to a fat camp. There is food as far as the eye can see. They fatten you. Everything that surrounds weight loss is super expensive. There's a lot of money in keeping people fat. Keeping them on crazy diets and selling them pills and fat camp is no different. Fat camp is very expensive. My dad couldn't afford to send me to fat camp the traditional way, where you pay and you send your kid and people just berate your kid and make them go up hills and scream in their face all day, Go on, fatty! Hurry up! Burn it off! So my dad called up the fat camp and said, I would like... He said, I've got a fat, fat boy. <laughs> and I would like to know if you would like him to work for you for free for the summer in exchange you could inflict your cruel ways on him. He is fat. And they said, sure. We'll give him a job and you can send him, we'll do it as like an indentured servant kind of thing. <laughs> Any guesses where they positioned me? What, where in the fat camp? Anyone? What? Kitchen? Kitchen? Kitchen. 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 <laughs> they put me in the kitchen. The worst place to be in a camp where they restrict food everywhere is in the kitchen surrounded by unlimited food. I never got that! than I did in fat camp. It lived up to its name. And not just me, everybody got fatter that summer because I became an after-hours macaroni dealer. I had all the fat kids lined up behind the kitchen with five bucks after I, who wants a little more macaroni? Okay. My number one client was this kid named Spider. And they called him Spider because his titties were so big they looked like extra arms. Okay. And he used to do tricks with him too. He'd have a basketball and he'd spin it on his hand, he'd roll it up his shoulder and down the other shoulder and then he'd kick it off his elbow and he'd catch it on your titty. He'd go, that's why they call me Spider. <laughs> I still get calls from Spider sometimes, blaming me for the fact that he's still fat. He's like, it's your fault, man. You served me too much macaroni. I'm like, yeah? You still want that cheesy stuff, don't you, Spider? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Meet me behind my kitchen at 11 p.m. Bring five bucks. <laughs> <laughs>